Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So today I'm going to do something a little different. Let me see if I could play this game well. Um, so I was a little critical of the monitoring app that um, SolarX had, but now that I'm using it a little better, actually I realize it does a whole lot more. So let's start with, so this is Omnia 1. There are two systems and uh, they're both six inverters of 15 kilowatts right now we only have five inverters of 16 of 15 kilowatts we have been seeing 50 kilowatts on this particular system and we added additional batteries yesterday and not balancing so we're struggling i think it takes us two or three days to get the batteries to balance but let me show you what you're able to do here so look here right i touch the pv right and it shows you each inverter and the PV power for each inverter. It's about, let's see what time is it now. It's about 537, so that wouldn't show. And then it shows you which inverter is currently powering. So you could see right now one inverter is not powering and the others are powering. And then let me scroll down here so you can see our battery and the percentages. So you can see the batteries on this one is 26%, on that one is 16, 52. Uh, 36 and 20 and then gives you this gives you our total so this is what our total consumption is and it shows you uh, 1.99 is what the total is which is what this number here is which is that number so I didn't realize how much this did until I started playing with it I was very critical initially and now I'm actually feeling better so here we can monitor so your Wi-Fi was off all the way through here 5:45 a.m. then um, at 7.35 it came on, but our battery state of charge was 20, which is fictitious because not too long after, these batteries get to 90% and we're pushing only 17 kilowatts, so that's not correct. It's that balance issue where we added an additional battery that was not at the same state of charge as the others and it's going to take a few days of charging and discharging for it to equalize and where all four batteries will be the same. That's why we're having this experience. So you see we go from 25% to 98 percent in a very short time period and then um let me see so here we we were uh power eps power of we we're pulling 34 kilowatts and the panels were producing 31 kilowatts and then here we turn off because our batteries as you can see we had this fictitious um you see one from very high numbers to ridiculously low numbers in a very short time period and our PV dropped from let's see 34 this was high. Yeah, 34 was the high we hit dropped all the way down to 6 1 and then our batteries were at 24 kilowatts so we're still pulling 36 kilowatts out of the system then here we shut it off because actually we didn't shut it off what happened is the inverter started to drop so what happened is, since we have different uh, batteries on different inverters, it started to drop. It will drop the first inverter, drop the second inverter because we hit a low battery cutoff, drop the third inverter, then once it drops the third inverter, because the load exceeded, we got an EPS overload and the power went out in the room. So that same inverter is what's powering the room and the AC and our router, so we lost power right here. And then we came back up again. You see our SOC, we're not charging using the grid. Hold on, let me scroll this up. We're only charging using, um, so at one, let me see. Scroll down some more, scroll down some more. So let me, sorry, let me do this, because it, will show, it shows you the time. So at one, 14.55, nothing was on. And then 14.45 is back on again, we're back to 81%, you know that's not possible. So it's the last set of batteries that are giving us the hardest time. And then you could see uh, 10,444, we're pulling, um, so we're charging the batteries now at 28 kilowatts. That's all five inverters combined. And then we put the load back on, it starts at 16. And slowly rises till we get to as you saw 39 and then we turned it off again because we started to drop inverters again because we had hit the percentages 
And remember I was showing percentages on the batteries. You can see there is differences. This one is at 18. This is at 18 here. And this is 26. And this is 52. So this has balanced. This is 36. This has balanced a little better. And then this one down here is at 20. So until this balance is where we have uh, where we have the fourth battery balance with the rest, we're going to continue to have this issue. So today we did um, 143.2 kilowatt hours. Yesterday we did 186 kilowatt hours. This day we did 175.9 kilowatt hours. And we didn't run the full day. So hopefully tomorrow again, we'll start at 8.39 and run till about uh, 6, 7 p.m. The generator connection, we have the cables, we've not connected them yet. And the reason is because the breaker is going to go into is not big enough to accept our cable. We have 150 mm cables we are using for the incoming from the generator, well, from the panel room into our room, and then we'll distribute it to the inverters and to the EPS power box. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you had to subscribe, please click the subscribe button once again. This is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.